the answer. Welcome back to Get Down to Business. We're powered by Tandem HR, your solution center. Check them out online, tandemhr.com, or give them a call, 630-928-0510. Thrilled to be joined by my very good friend, um, Elliot Richardson from the Small Business Advocacy Council. Elliot, I feel like we don't talk enough. We should have you on the show a lot more often, but you are working hard, my friend. Hey, Shalom. Good to talk. Yeah, I've missed you, man. Hope everything is well. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. So uh, your team has been hard at work in trying to level the playing field for small business. Uh, I know you've had this one policy uh, item on your agenda for uh, for a while, but uh, you're trying to inch it closer and closer to reality, lowering the cost of LLC fees. Uh, for our listeners that don't recall, if you don't want to give us a little bit of the background. Yeah, absolutely, Shalom. Y- you know, uh, in Illinois, we pay the highest LLC fees in the nation. Um, and A, it, it takes money out of the pockets of small business owners that they could spend on doing things like hiring, um, buying equipment, doing different things for their business. And paying these unreasonably high fees, also Shalom, um, really perpetuates a perception that Illinois is not a good place to own and operate a business. And we know Illinois is trying to attract larger companies into the state. They focus an awful lot on that. But small businesses are the backbone of the economy. That's not just the tagline. It is the truth. They're the major job creators. So why is this even an issue? Why is why are the fees so high? And, and as soon as it's been noticed by, uh, by, by advocates like yourself and the, and the hundreds and hundreds of SBAC members, why is this even a debate? It should not be a debate. It's a great question. And, and you know what? Amongst the thousands of coalition partners that we have in all of these different business organizations, it's a no-brainer. Lower these fees. Any loss of revenues to the state will be more than made up by the economic development that comes to Illinois because people will actually file in this state as opposed to other states. You know, we did get this bill now, Shalom, through the House unanimously for the first time. It's sitting in the Senate. Uh, it can be called for reconciliation next week. Uh, and if it's called by Senator Cullerton next week on reconciliation and it's passed, this is going to become law as soon as it's signed by the governor. And that is going to be good for small businesses and good for our state's economy. Well, let's name drop over here. Who's the uh, who's the Senate sponsor and what's the Senate bill um, that our listeners should uh, should be looking up? And of course, we'll give them a lot of information so they could get involved in the fight. Well, the bill is SB 867. Uh, Senator Tom Cullerton is the chief sponsor in the Senate. Uh, been a good friend to small business. Uh, you know, I know there's been a lot of things going on in Springfield with the budget impasse and some of the um, more negative things that have been happening in our capital. Uh, we'd love for him to put this on the front burner and get this called for a vote. What about the week. governor's office? What does Governor Rauner have to say about this bill? Will he sign it into law? Uh, He has been extremely supportive. There is absolutely no reason to think he will not sign this bill the moment it hits his desk. So there's a lot of talk, and you implied this uh, earlier. We're chatting with Elliot Richardson from the Small Business Advocacy Council. You mentioned that there's a lot of talk about luring big businesses. Um, I'll mention a specific example. We all know about the attempts to bring Amazon to Chicago, and that's exciting, and that's great. Um, And I'm sure... Almost all of our listeners probably share that excitement and, and want that big stimulus to our economy. But uh, that is, you know, all job gains are positive, but making real structural change to how Illinois treats the small business community is critical. Um, tell us a little bit about the structure of the SBAC and beyond the LLC bill. And of course, we'll give contact information for everybody that's texting and emailing and calling right now. Um, what how how can people get more involved in in general in trying to fight for small business Listen, you know the SBAC was formed to give small business owners a seat at the policy table and to empower small businesses and, and really the way to get involved and to make a difference is to do just that get involved it's amazing how much politicians listen to people when they actually call when they email when they fight for issues that are important to their community and small businesses need to form that community and they need to speak with a a loud and a unified voice. And, you know, you just hit the nail on the head. Lots of lip service and lots of effort to get large companies to come into Illinois. And that may be great. 
and the halo effect may work. But at the end of the day, small businesses drive our economy, and we need to remind our politicians of that on a daily basis. And really, it's every small business owner and the people that work for small businesses and the families that are supported by small businesses that can come together, and you would be surprised at what the power of critical mass can do. Elliot, you and I have been in this fight for small business for a while. Generally speaking, would you say that uh, that this is a, uh, a partisan issue, or are you attracting support from both Democrats and Republicans alike? The SBAC is a completely nonpartisan organization. That's a great question. And what I find is in our organization, and Shalom, I know you see the same thing, too. We have conservative Republicans. We have liberal Democrats. At the end of the day, uh, when policies are passed that hurt small businesses, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle that business owner sits on. It's draining that small business owner of resources, and it's hurting the economy. So we are all rowing the boat in the same direction, and we've been able to bring this very diverse group of business uh, advocates together. Elliot, we are out of time, um, but I do want to make sure we share the website, sbacil.org. That's S-B-A-C. IL.org. That's where you can find out more about the SBC's fantastic, very, very important policy agenda, including lowering the cost of LLCs in the state of Illinois. Elliot, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to be right back with Steve Hall from Lisk, Chicago.